One of the greatest minds in junior hockey is getting ready to walk the Great Wall of China as a cancer survivor. For years, Charlie Henry ran the Gatineau Olympique, and now he gets set for a new challenge in life. A quarter century of hockey history in an unassuming man who's helped shape hundreds of young lives, who recently found himself fighting for his own life. I didn't think it was much when they told me I had a golf ball in my stomach. Charlie Henry had pancreatic cancer, made a promise to his son, beat it, they'd walk the wall of China together and raise a bit of money doing it. It's a monster, you know what I mean? But more and more they're coming up with uh, ways of dealing and of beating it. His involvement in high-level hockey happened almost by accident. He was a minor hockey coach, struck up a friendship with another hockey dad, a fellow named Walter Gretzky whose kid Wayne was pretty good. The three have been lifetime friends. Wayne is an outstanding individual, you know, he's an outstanding person. At the height of his NHL career, Gretzky was looking to buy a junior hockey team. He's the one that said, why don't you guys buy that team at Hull? And Wayne said, wow, why don't we buy the team at Hull? And I said, oh, okay. He brought Charlie Henry on board to run things and Henry inherited the first of many NHL coaches he would help groom, the late Pat Burns. Pat Burns was an unbelievable person, tough guy, very gentle, very mild when you spoke to him in a one-on-one, -on -one. but when he was in charge, I mean, you had to pay attention because it didn't matter, he was a boss. Burns was followed by Canucks head coach Alain Vigneault, and then Claude Julien, who led the Boston Bruins to the Stanley Cup. Claude Julien has the most, the best character I've ever seen because he convinces you you're the best player. Under his guidance, more than six dozen players went on to the NHL. All the while, Henry worked his magic quietly away from the spotlight. The thing that uh, I certainly don't forget is it's not a one-man job. Two years out of hockey and cancer-free, and ready now to make a statement that life is still pretty good. And we have the website up on our website if you want to help Charlie out and support him. Great. I hope people do. Yeah. Thank you, Terry. Okay. Great story. Great story.